All right, welcome back to Logan Simmons Photography. It's great to have you here today. And uh, today we wanna to talk about another uh, product, another review here. And it's more of those uh, pieces of software from Topaz Labs. We're actually looking at Sharpen AI, uh, which we looked at probably a few weeks ago, about a month ago, but they actually updated the software right after we did the review. So I wanna go over a few things with you and kind of share the differences and the advantages of this new version so you can see what you think. Now, also before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel or follow us on Facebook. It does make a big difference and allows you to see this content right when it starts. And also make sure you hit that like button because again, helps out the channel a lot. So let me show you an image here on my computer. I'm in Adobe Photoshop right now. And I took this image a couple of weeks ago or so. Pretty good, I like it a lot. Um, but one little flaw here, if you notice, there's a little bit of softness right here and uh, around this little flower right here. The rest of it's pretty good, but right there is a little bit iffy. And that's probably because of a couple of things, a little bit of focus issues there because the, the flower was moving in and out and perhaps a little bit of stability. Maybe the shutter speed could have been a little bit higher. But anyway, shots already been taken. We got to see what we can fix it. So uh, if you remember from our review last week, and of course we'll have a link up there for the uh, for the review and also down below the first version. But I'm gonna go up into my Adobe Photoshop here and go under Filter and Topaz Labs because of course there is a Photoshop plugin for um, their Sharpen AI software. And it's gonna load up here. And you know, right off the bat, it looks pretty similar to version 1.0 there. So in fact, I'm just gonna treat it like 1.0 and I just wanna show you this kind of how this would look if I were to just keep things as they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stabilize. That's probably what we need to use in this case. And if you wanna see all again, all the modes, how they work, watch that version 1.0 review because it's pretty similar to be honest with you in that regard anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit automatic here. Um, but I think it's still a little bit soft. So I'm gonna go into manual and I'm actually gonna increase the sharpness yeah, a little bit there. And of course it's auto updating the preview as we go. And look at that flower. I'm saying, yeah, that looks pretty decent there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And like I mentioned in the review previously, it does take a minute or two for these images to process. So we're gonna let this one sit here. I'll be back in just a second with the result. And we'll take a look at basically what version 1.0 would do for you. Okay, and we're done with the image here. And let's go ahead and zoom into 100%. Actually, yeah, it looks like we're already there right now. And you can see it actually did increase the uh, flower sharpness there quite a bit. Let's go ahead and start with the before. You can see it was pretty soft right there. I mean, not ridiculously so, but uh, definitely needed some improvement. And then with that Topaz software, did a really good job there of bringing out the detail there. Also up here in these little areas, and probably also this flower back here. But I wanna go ahead and point you out to one thing. Look at this leaf down here. Doesn't it look like somebody just took a little brush stroke and kind of brushed that particular flower and that leaf in there? That's what it looks like to me. In fact, we'll start with the original. It almost kind of looked like that before, probably because some of the effects of the lens, but it was manageable then. But when you did the filter, it's really done too much there. So now with the previous version, we would probably have to go in here, maybe blur it out with Photoshop or something like that. Because Sharpen AI basically applied the effect to the entire image. You couldn't do any manual adjustments or select any particular parts. But that is where version 2.0 comes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Sharpen AI. I'm gonna delete what we just did and we'll open up Sharpen AI again. And then I'm gonna alert your attention up to this area right here, which is masking. But let me go ahead and get it back to where I wanted it before. I'm just going to go ahead and get the settings uh, like we had previously. And it's going to generate a quick little preview, hopefully quick. There she goes. All right, I think this takes a little bit longer because we're recording it on the battery at the same time. So hopefully your computer will be a little bit faster when you're just using it normally. Eh, sharpness, come on, there we go. All right, so I think that's pretty good there, but I'm going to go ahead and hit this masking button. Once that generates one more time, and we're actually, this is, you know, it's kind of an annoyance, this program, we're actually gonna turn off the auto update preview option because we're gonna start doing some masking here and it's gonna slow us down if we have that check. So, so I hit masking and what you'll notice is a brush has appeared right here. And you can see there's radius, there's softness, opacity. Uh, and basically what we wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe increase the radius a little bit there and the softness is kind of like the feather there in Photoshop. So if you look at the effect there, that dotted line, that is where the effect will start to fade out. The solid line is where it's constant. So what I'm going to do, keep opacity to 100. I don't want to make this transparent thing. I'm just going to start painting and you'll see that uh, it just has that red right there. 
And when it is red, that means the effect will cover that particular area. And again, notice I've got the auto update off because if I were to keep moving the mouse around, it would continue to automatically update and that would slow us down. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna grab this little part right here, like so, and I think I'm gonna move over here as well and I'll grab a little bit of this flower. Okay. And bear with me there. I'm gonna say about right there or so. There's some different options for mask and all that stuff, but let's just leave it as is. Whoops, turn the overlay back on so we can see the red. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply mask. That means we're done doing the mask. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And what this will do, again, it's gonna take a couple of minutes or so, just like before, uh, but it's only gonna apply the effect to that particular area that we masked and not to any other part of the image. So let's go ahead and see how that looks just here in a minute. All right, and we're done. Again, took it just a couple of minutes, and let's go ahead and look at that 100% view again of this particular image and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to where we started, again, without the effects, a little bit soft up here, and I'm gonna turn it on. And you can see we sharpen the area up here where the flower is, where those little bulbs are, and back over there. But if you go down here to this leaf, there's no effect. I'll turn the effect on and the effect, I'm sorry, this is effect off, effect on. And you can see it did not affect this area at all. And that's what really makes this product even better. I actually, personally, I've actually purchased, I'm not paid by Topaz, I actually did purchase the product. And version 2.0 really makes a big improvement because it allows you to eliminate those areas where the plugin is troublesome, like in those kind of weird shadow areas in that case. So again, hopefully this uh, helps you make a decision whether or not you want to get Sharpen AI for you. Again, there's a link down there in the previous review if you want to get more details about all the functions or look at the Topaz website. It's all down there. So again, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, helps out a lot, and definitely appreciate you watching. You have a good one. Bye-bye.